Appreciate it. Thank you. I I, I thought it was every I when I read it at first, I thought a whole bunch of people were spamming, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, don't worry, we got it, we got it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Scene is still good too. I did it. All right. Yay. Time for Street Fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just update the stream here. Um, I figured we could do Street Fighter 2 because, um, it's, um, um, it's pretty classic and I'm, I'm going to be doing more than one of the Street Fighters because we actually have, you know, a few of them that we have to do. I think there's like four Street Fighter games that we have to do, um, on Super Nintendo. So, uh, yeah, it's not like we have a shortage or anything like that. And I thought, you know what, this will be, I think, our first one. So, here we are. I just... Uh, I was actually going to do another sports game, and I was just like, you know what? I just want to play something different. Um, I, uh, and I thought, it's, it's number 40. I mean, this is our number 40 here, guys. I... Wow. We've made it to number 40. You know, we're really, like... I'm, I just feel like we're doing it, you know? We're, we're making progress. It's This is really happening. So, yeah. Yeah, Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2, New Challengers. Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting. Or Turb... I say Hyper Fighting I've never heard of. I, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. But Hyper Fighting? I'm not sure about that. Um, is it maybe... Are you thinking of Street Fighter Alpha? Street Fighter Alpha 2, maybe? This game, by the way, I actually played it for the first time in the arcade, and I was just like, holy cow, this is awesome. The graphics were just so bright and vibrant, and the moves were very responsive. Even if you didn't know how to play, you could figure out things pretty quickly, and oh man, it was just, this game is legendary, I feel like. This is a legendary game. I love it. I actually had this game as a kid too. I didn't play it much, so I usually forget that I had it. Oh man, I played it a lot. When I got it uh, 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 for Super Nintendo, I, I definitely played it a lot. And he didn't hold back, he kicked my butt. <laughs> okay, Recon. <laughs> Why not just play something you want in between each sports game to ease the pain a bit? Uh, because, Juvenile, um, well, I kind of am, kind of, but I really want to get the sports games out of the way because uh, I those are like my most least interested games that I want to play, um, so I kind of just want to get them done sooner rather than later. Um, but also... Um, I'm trying to have it because I, I'm a little, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous about my, like, ability to, like, because I'm trying to actually beat all of these on cartridge because I just, I really want to. Um, I I don't have all the Super Nintendo games, obviously. I, I have maybe approaching half of all the Super Nintendo games at least released in the US. Um, so I'm doing good. I'm really doing good, but... You know, I, I got a long way to go. And I have what I consider a lot of the really, really good games. A lot of the classics and stuff. I'm still missing quite a few, but I have a lot of them. And I just don't want to play all of what I consider the really good games too early on. I want to save those for later because I really want, like, kind of the final stretch of this challenge to just be a whole onslaught of just good game, good game, good game, or at least, like, good game, medium game, good game, medium game. So I'm trying to get all the games that kind of are, like, not so interesting to me out of the way as soon as possible, if that makes sense. Um... So yeah, that's that's pretty much my my thought process there. Um, okay, so the difficulty, if you leave it on three, that's pretty much your medium difficulty, and it, it it's it's not too bad at first, 
but I'll tell you, it gets pretty challenging later on. Um, the final, I can tell you from experience, the final areas, I have not, oh, okay, I guess I should also point out, I have not played this since I was a kid. Um, wow. Dang, I just kind of like realized, man, I have not played this since I was just a wee little Andy. Um, yeah. So, maybe things will be a little different now, I'm not sure. Uh, I actually think I want to put it on four. Maybe. I'm not doing seven, though, like, that, that will, like, uh, that's gonna seven is basically the computer just reads your inputs and crushes you it's horrible actually maybe i'll just leave it on the default for now um and kind of feel it out because at least the difficulties as far as i remember they're pretty much the same across the board so the other street fighters i can kind of gauge it by so let's see okay so how do i muscle memory killer instinct kind of changed my Fierce punch, fierce kick. Muscle memory a bit here. So in Street Fighter, though, I'm kind of used to the heavies, I think. Uh, that's awkward. I think. I'm going to have to feel this out, honestly. All right, we're going to try this like this. Okay, and then... Kick. Okay. See, what's happening is my killer instinct muscle memory is like this. This is my killer instinct control scheme right here. But when I played it, actual Street Fighter 2 as a kid, I think I left it at the defaults. But I played a lot more killer instinct than Street Fighter 2, and I played a lot of Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Andy is going to get his butt beat. Uh, probably, actually, probably. Um, this this game is is no pushover in the higher areas. That's for sure. You can just blank a ball your way through on seven difficulty. Really? Um, I uh, did not know that. No. Um, could never beat Vega. Vega's tough. Yeah, Gundam. Vega is tough. Catfish Bear. Hello, welcome to you. Uh, my go-to guy is usually Ken or Ryu. Um, I also like Guile as well, because he just looks so awesome when he does the flash kick. But I'm not as good- oh, okay, it just picked for me. Alright, I forgot that if you just sat there, it did that. Alright, hang on, we need a little volume. There we go, okay. Alright, so, give me a second, muscle memory is just kinda... Okay. I think I think this might work for uh no I think this might work for this control setup. I just gotta not get my butt kicked too much. Oh man, um, that's not a good start. So um, something that keep an eye for this game is actually like kind of gross. Um, like there's little spurts of blood now and again, um, but uh, keep an eye every now and again if you hit somebody hard enough. Uh, ew. they actually throw up. Like, they just full-on barf. It's crazy. Yes, we got the Shuriken! Nice! Okay. Yeah, I just... Muscle memory is a little awkward right now, because... I barely want to reach for the L and R buttons for the fierce, but it's not too bad. I, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. But like, if I want to do the, the, I don't know. I, I don't know what he says. It's something about drinking Sprite and eating mucus. This move. I don't know. Whatever he says there. Oh, nice. A little free hit on him there. Cool. All right. Um. Yeah, that, that one was a little weird, but we, we got it. I choose Chung Lee when I was a kid. Oh, you played- man, Grape Juice, cool, man. I, I didn't know that so many of you guys have played uh, Street Fighter 2. That's awesome. That's really cool. Good old Street Fighter 2. Oh, man. Hang on. There we go. I, I gotta have a little more volume when we play this game. It's It's so classic. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Throw him, throw him, throw him, throw him! Oh, I wanted to throw him. Nice. Good fight. Good fight. I like Guile's stage a lot. It's just, I mean, he's, he's got his buddies watching. You got the boxes that break on the side. He's got some really good music. I'm just, man, just covering him with Hadoukens. Oh, man, poor Guile. Dang. <laughs> nice, nice. Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku is what Ryu says when he spin kicks. Uh, no, he says I drink Sprite and eat mucus. I'm pretty sure that's what he says. Try saying it fast, it's fun. Uh, Tatsumaki... Let me, let me try it here. I forgot when you pause the game it does that. I'm so glad that we just did. Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku. Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku. Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku. <laughs> Is that how he says it though? Z Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot to say when you're spinning around in circles crazy fast like that. <laughs> it is fun to say. You're right, Juvenile. You're absolutely right. The music speeds when near death. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that too. That's good stuff. Um, There's a lot of nifty little things in this game that I like. One of the things that I actually don't like about Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, is, um, is that... Uh, they change a lot of the voices and stuff, and Guile especially. When Guile says Sonic Boom in this version, you know, it's Sonic Boom, you know, it's got some boom in his voice. It sounds good. But in Super Street Fighter 2, it's like Sonic Boom, and it's like, what was that? Like, what? Why did they do that? They, like, completely demand him. I don't, I don't appreciate it. Oh, e Honda, Doing the million punches there. Hadoukens are so mean, you just layer the whole place with them. I don't think he knows what to do with me. It's like, this guard keeps throwing stupid Hadoukens at me! Uh, watch the background, watch the background! Yeah, look at that! That's so cool! I have the card in the background, he's like, ah, look at my card! Got a big old card there. Round two! Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, I wanted to end on a sure you can. Okay, we'll get the mucus. There we oh, well, okay, kind of. Hey, that says you back there. I think that's you? Yeah, you. Uh, right right near Ryu's head. I don't know why it just says you, though, but... That's that's what it says. Hey, Grape Juice, why does it say just you on the wall? What does that mean? Just by itself. Lord Melchio? Welcome back, Lord Melchio. Oh, man, it's it's my... My twin. Oh, he tried to give me this... The sprite drinking mucus. Oh man, poor Ken. He's he's yo. Oh, he's not feeling too good. Oh, this is such good music. To oh man, we're playing Street Fighter 2. I'm so hyped. <laughs> I also hate how all the new Street Fighters say Hyaku Retsu Kyaku instead of ya ya ya. I don't know that. I don't know this new Street Fighters though. I haven't played any of them, honestly. Oh!
Good fight, Ken. Good fight. It was a good try. It means tornado. Senpu is whirlwind. Kyaku is kick. Oh! Oh, oh, hey, it's this! And actually, Ryu is really good at this. Yeah. I think you have to jump over, because I think you can't destroy the middle one until you do this side. Look at that, just so manly, he breaks bricks with his foot. Just right into him, he's like, he doesn't even care. Just bashes him. Hey Rakdo, welcome back. Yeah, they did it for Ultra SF2, where they changed Chung Li's lightning legs to say the whole thing instead of ya ya ya. Oh, interesting, okay. Okay, Zangief, man. This guy's tough. Ow. So he's got a little thing, too, that he keeps tripping me with. That's very rude. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Go away. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. My face, man. He just smashed it into the ground. I... Zangief, as close up as a fighter as he is, he always seems to show up a little later in the in the, the roster that you fight, and he can be pretty tough. Uh oh, I think we get a good hit here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, never mind. The game slowed down like he was gonna go into dizzy mode. I thought. Ow. Uh oh. I gotta stop fooling around. Okay. Ugh, oh, that was a little scary. Does anyone care about points in Street Fighter? Uh, not that I know of. But maybe, maybe somebody does. Come on! Oh man, I can't Hadouken with uh, the the slow Hadouken. Oh man, that's not good. Nice. All right, that was that was a little scary there. He's tough. He's tough. Watching you play hurts me. I played Street Fighter 2 about three months ago and got my tush beat down. Um, how does it hurt you? I don't understand. Now Chung Li, in the higher tiers, she can be pretty tough too, so I gotta be careful here. Nice. Oh. Uh oh! Nice. Nice. Alright. Leave that chicken alone! You see that guy back there wrestling with the chicken? Just let it go, man. It's very mean. The backgrounds are so good in this game. It's so classic, you know? Oh, nice combo, nice combo. Oh, man! Uh-oh, uh-oh! Whoa, okay. <laughs> Woo! That was close. That was close. Dang! That was really close. I've heard of some competitive players using the point system for hit confirming. For hit confirm- oh, Dal C this guy is actually like- I might lose right here. Dang it. This- I gotta be careful. Okay. Alright. One down. 
I never heard of using the point system f for hit confirming. Like, I don't even know exactly what that means entirely. They watch the points as they play. If the points go up, it means they got a hit and not a block. Huh. I see. So it's like kind of like trying to play it blind in a way, is what it sounds like you're describing. Yeah, look at that, man! What a way to finish him off. I was, I just, I was like, man, we got to get some style points, you know? You say you have not played since you were a little kid, yet you're on your first life. You already beat like six fighters. Oh. I don't know, man. I, I did play it a lot. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting lucky. I'm probably just getting lucky, honestly. Oh, man. All right. Um, but yeah, this is awesome, dude. This is just... I oh, Man, the memories are coming back. This is so... Oh, I, this is one of my favorite stages, man. This is so good. Just all the flashy lights and stuff, man. It's like, you know it's a big deal when you're in, uh, in Vegas doing the fighting. It's good times, man. Oh, oh, oh! Nice. Alright. Well, don't worry. I'm gonna be, uh... I'm gonna be getting my butt kicked real soon. Vega, Saget, and M. Bison. Oh, man. They are bosses. They are going to finish me off hard. So don't worry about that. Nice! Dang, yeah! <laughs> yes! Casually choking his chicken. <laughs> to cancel into a spe- Wow, that's a lot of points. Uh, cancel into a special if your normal attack is a successful hit. Huh. Not entirely sure I understand what you mean, but I think I might know what you mean, Mu Miao. Well, how do you... It's easier than watching the characters in some cases to tell if it's hit or a block. Huh. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. I couldn't remember uh, how you did that one. Top Japanese players actually watch the stun meter for hit confirming. Huh. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, oh, sleep well, Laxy. You take care. Yeah, nice, nice hit there. This guy is dangerous. Oh my goodness, this guy is dangerous. Ah, oh man, okay. He, I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Oh, I'm so gonna get my butt kicked. Yeah, yeah. This this is gonna be a blockade. I'm telling you right now. Vega is he is mean. He is so mean. Oh, I hate when he does this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he still hit me. I didn't know he could. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> I told you. He is just mean. He is so mean. Well, there you go. That's our first loss. I think the same woman made... The car level music made UN Squadron soundtrack? Oh! That's cool, Rakdo. Welcome back, by the way. I don't know if I welcomed you back, Rakdo, so welcome back. Um, UN Squadron has a great soundtrack, too, by the way. Clumsy Life, hello and welcome to you. Alright, this is... We're gonna be on this guy for a while, probably, just so you guys know. This is... This is mean stuff. Right here. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh! I got clawed to the face, right in the face. Oh boy. Hey, how come that- that should have been my hit? That's not right- oh my gosh! Oh! Well, he's just... Killing it! Nice, nice dude. McMackey, hello, welcome to you. Welcome, welcome. Since the bosses were selectable in turbo and super, they had to be balanced, hence them not being as tough as the imbalanced bosses in this game. Um, that actually makes sense, Juvenile, yeah, because, boy, they are really tough in this version. Yes, they are. You can mash out of the stun. Um, I... I did a little mashing there, but I got lazy about it. Um, yeah, that, that was why I got lazy. I didn't really want to, like, go ham on my controller, honestly. But, I'm gonna kind of need to with this guy. Ah. Oh. Look at how little damage it does to him as well. That's so mean. And then he hits me and it's like a big chunk. <laughs> he's so fast. He's a little... Well, he's a big ninja, dude. Only way to anti-air is Dragon Punch. Vega has broken hitbox in this game. I've noticed, yeah, I'm start it's starting to come back that this guy, you can't really do the kick to him at all because he just, he's like got the range. Like it's crazy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, I'm trying to show you can. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am really bad at doing a Shoryuken on the right side of the screen. I mean, bad. Like, I I never practiced it much, like, because, well, I just didn't. So, yeah, trying to do a Shoryuken, Shoryuken on the uh, right side is, is pretty tough for me. Try the light dragon punch instead of the heavy one and see if it does more damage. It's really, I know, right? Does like two on the the big one. I don't know if I can pull it off though, considering it's on L. Because I'm like binding, it'd be kind of awkward. But I'll try medium. Uh, if I can make it. Oh no no oh wow okay. Oh no! Oh, okay, here we go. Alright, let's see. What was that crap? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, he got me because. Oh man, I can't believe it lasted that long. That's better. Man! I don't. I, I was. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. That's so mean. I, yeah, I'm not good at reliably doing a Shoryuken. I am not. No! <laughs> oh, so close! This is why I did not want to put the difficulty higher than the default, because I, that's what I was saying. Just wait till we get up here, and it's going to be all just pain. It's going to be so much pain, and here we are. I knew it. I knew it. Have to go to sleep? Okay, Recon. Well, hey, you take care. Happy holidays to you, my friend. I'll see you next time. They removed the fence in later versions because it's so BS. I did not know that, actually.
it is pretty cheap, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's just like, what do you do? I I'm sure there's a counter of- s well, maybe there isn't, but... It's just mean! Like, this guy is- is no joke. Ugh, oh, that- like, man, you just get no slack from this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I tried to do a Shuriken. I was hoping to maybe kind of cut through him as he jumped, but I did a Hadouken instead. And I lost. Lost all of my... My life is all gone in a second. I think I just barfed. Oh man, come on. Ouch. What? No, again? That is so mean. Oh, I hit him. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we got one. We got one. Barely. <laughs> this is barely. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. Oh. Well, there's my baby, sure you can. Oh, now I'm dead. Come on, I'm trying to throw Hadoukens this whole time, and I can't do it on this side too well. Oh, man. Oh, I was trying to throw so many Hadoukens there, but it's it's just I'm not good on the right. Like I said, I, I don't have practice on that uh, with with Ryu. <laughs> What's up, Zok? Welcome back. The skin of your magic pixel. I know it was so close. Ah, oh. at least we got one though. I, I'll take it. I'm very happy to get that one. See, I can- I can throw pretty reliable Hadoukens on the left. Pretty reliable. But on, as soon as I'm on the right, I just have no practice with that, uh, on Ryu. No! What is this crap? Look at that! Right back into it again? Oh. Uh, what the f This is the biggest pile of poo! I can't believe that. Go away. Go away, go away! Oh, come on. Now that should be me, right? Yes. Okay, I'll take it. Wow. Jeez, man. Three in a row! What a pile of crap! That is wrong! That is so wrong! That is just wrong! Oh, that was awkward, okay. Oh, my, my health bar! <laughs> no! <laughs> I hate this guy! <laughs> oh, man. At least we were close, man. We are getting better. We are getting better. But dang, dude, man, this guy is such a wiener. Oh, 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 oh! D okay. No! What? 
Oh! Ugh. And again! This is so cheap! That is... Wow. I can't believe this. Wow. That is so cheap. Dang. Saski-sama, hello, welcome to you. And Zytron512, welcome as well. Wow. Dang. That is like... Uh, Mumiao, easier said than done for me. Easier said than done. I'm sure you can rock it and just, like, annihilate, but no, I, I, I'm not that reliable. Especially, like I said, I haven't played this since I was a little kid. Like, it's been a long time. Oh! Nice! I made him puke! Ah. <laughs> uh. Nice! Oh, how did that not hit him? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Q Basic, hello, welcome to you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, man. The pain of fighting Vega. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, see, <laughs> I tried. What was that? I, didn't want, I wanted to do a Hadouken. I do Hadoukens when I want to do Shurukens, and I do Shurukens when I want to do Hadoukens. <laughs> Go away, Vega. Ah. Oh. He's doing it again. Ah. Oh. I'm dead. Yeah. I. Ah, oh, my goodness. Dang. So mean. Hi back at you, Zytron. How's it going? <laughs> Hit him with the D. <laughs> That's all I have left. Uh. Um. Crouching Fierce Punch works on him? I didn't know that it actually works. I would gladly do that. I Let me give it a try. I would gladly use that on him. I just didn't know that worked. Uh, I must be doing it at the wrong time or something. I'll keep trying. Oh my gosh. Does it work on this by chance? Yes, it does. Hey, all right. Yippee skippy doodles. I didn't know you could do that to him. I never knew that. That's great. Thank you. All right. There we go. There we go. That's cheap? You're, you're talking about cheap against Vega? No. There, there is no cheap against Vega. Vega is the definition of cheap. This guy is the cheapest thing since cheapity cheap cheap. I, I didn't actually mean to do that. Okay. Ow. Go away. Oh, too late. Too late. Too late, I guess? Ah, oh, man. Getting better, though. Getting better. Oof. Dark Enigma? Hello, welcome to the stream. You're doing great, Zytron? Excellent. Glad to hear that. Oh, that was close. Oh, that should have hit. There you go. Oh, right, right. Okay. Oh, no. I hate this move so much. Ah, look at that. Does it and then does it again. That is so mean. 
Okay, I must- it must be like perfect timing to hit him with that because, man, I can't believe I got it the first time. Now that I see like, it seems like it should have hit, but no. That was a good try though. That was a good try. Hey Shangles, welcome back, dude. Standing light kick? Can you sure you can? Not reliably, no. No. Uh, yeah. I haven't- I was- yeah, that's what I was saying. I haven't played this since I was a little kid, man. Like, a little tiny, tiny kid! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, man. Okay, I gotta point out real quick. I gotta point out something. Um, because I just realized we could be on the path to Batman. We we could totally be on the path to Batman. Uh, and, and you might be like, what is the path to Batman? So I got to point this out right now. Um, so I, well, I guess I got to tell a story. Um, I was playing Batman, the original NES Batman. And I got all the way through the game to the final boss, the Joker. And he's tough. He's really tough, and I've never fought the Joker before in that game because, well, I didn't own the game until I was... <laughs> I didn't own the game until I was uh, a big boy, and so I was like, all right, let's try to beat Batman, and um, I'll tell you, the Joker, he is extremely tough. I mean, like, holy cow, the Joker is tough. Really, really tough. Um, and... I was just like, all right, uh, I'm going to keep fighting him because you get infinite lives. Well, infinite continues, I should say. You get three lives, but infinite continues. Um, and I just kept going and continuing. You have to start at the beginning of the stage each time. Like, it, the game isn't even nice. It's not even like, oh, you can continue right at the boss and keep trying. No, if you die three times, you start at the beginning of the stage. Sorry, too bad. And you have to go through the whole thing again and f then fight the Joker. It's really brutal, really brutal. Um, and so, yeah, I, I played it for another, like, two or maybe three hours just to beat the Joker. Um, and the reason why I'm pointing that out is because, huh? People are throwing bits at me? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate the, the bits, Shangles. Um, thank you very much. Uh, oh, also, we got some people coming in. Crimson Yasha. And Shangles, I welcomed you back. So Yasha, welcome back. And Marcus Page, welcome, welcome. Also Glitter, uh, by the way, uh, I saw that game that you linked to me. The, uh, the, they are billions, they are millions, I think it is. Uh, that game looks pretty awesome. Uh, I'm a little hesitant, you know, cause it's, it's, you know, um, early access, but it looks awesome. I, I definitely uh, threw that on the, uh, the my watch list to keep an eye on it. Uh, looks pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> he does, Marcus. He does. He's he's having a little squat time. Uh, anyway, so let me let me just uh, finish this story real quick. So yeah, it took a long time to get through Batman, and as I was going through there, though, uh, quite a few people were like, maybe you should just give up and and like, or maybe you should take a long break, try it another time, and and. I wasn't getting frustrated, but I think people were feeling like maybe I was getting frustrated or like the vibe was just kind of like, I think people were feeling bad that I wasn't succeeding and were concerned. So there were a lot of suggestions going back and forth on like, well, try this and try that and do this and do that. And, um, I wasn't frustrated, um, because I don't know, I was having fun. I was having a lot of fun, but, um, and I just want to make it very clear that, I'm getting, Vega is kicking my butt, you've seen, he is definitely kicking my butt, but please don't feel like, um, like, don't let it get to you, I don't want you to feel like I'm getting frustrated, because I'm not, this is the fun of it for me, this is like, I know he's really cheap, and I know he's a jerk, but it's fun, um, I will try a couple suggestions here and there, throw more bits, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Gooba's right. You should throw many bits. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but uh, uh, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you, Sh Shangles. Thank you. Um, 
but yeah, please don't worry. Like, I appreciate the suggestions, and I'll, I'll try a few things here and there. But um, I just, I just want to make it clear that like, uh, this is still fun for me. I do not want you guys to worry because I think that's the biggest thing. I know people are just trying to be helpful and like, you know, let me, let me assist you. Let me, you look like you're struggling there. Let me get you past this struggling. And uh, I'm okay with it though. Just throwing it out there. It's totally okay. I'm not worried. I'm not like freaking out here. Um, you know, it's, it's all good, but I do appreciate it because I know it's coming from a good place. Um, so if I know sometimes it's just like, Oh God, if he just did it like this, you know, he'd have it done. Um, but again, I'm okay with the, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you again. He said no, he didn't, so he's a liar. So here's 100 more minutes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bun Bun Mags. Hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. All right, so let me actually catch up on chat, and then we'll try to continue this thrashing of mine. Yeah. Uh, where did I leave off? Is a standing light kick. So a standing light kick, huh? Yeah. If anything, just block. Can you block uh, his jumping attack, though? Yeah. Um, see, I in terms of cheap against Vega, I feel there is no cheap against Vega in the original Street Fighter. He's cheap enough, as is. You on Fightcade. Uh, what's Fightcade? I don't, I don't know what that is, so I guess not. I do not know what this Fightcade is you speak of. Uh, do a double uh, QT circle? Um, I could try it. Could try it. But I'm telling you right now, I'm, my, my inputs are not reliable. They're not. It just needs practice. That's all. I see. Yo, Batman was fun. Batman was really fun. See you at 5 a.m.? Uh, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it could be bad. <laughs> the Joker is no joke? I think you're joking with me right now. <laughs> Fightcade is like a multiplayer Street Fighter 2 emulator that uses GGPO to play against. Oh, that's what you showed me, Shangles. You showed me that like a long time ago, I think. Okay, okay. I just forgot the name of it. I, I think you showed me that anyway. No, I, I'm not like... The only, like... Okay, I played this a lot as a kid, but I'm I, when I say... What the heck, man? <laughs> Thank you again, Shangles. Thank you. Wow, the smack talking. You guys, let me know how it works out when you when you make the Street Fighter happen. Dang, Shangles. Just talking... The, Shangles does that, by the way. He, he talks the smack. He's just like, bring it on. <laughs> um... But yeah, when I last played this, like I said, I was a kid, and I was about maybe 10 or so, something like that. Yeah, um, Vega is cheaper than Cheese? That's why I'm fine with doing anything cheap against him. He is. He is very cheap, so I'm, I, I have no guilt at all about trying to cheese this guy. I will, I will lay the mozzarella on him and not feel bad at all. I will not. No, no. Um... Wow, look at this. We got we it's going down. All I wanted to do is play some Street Fighter 2, and next thing I know, people are 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 going to it. It's it's look what we've caused by me selecting Street Fighter 2 tonight instead of another sports game uh for the challenge. We just we we started we started a whole a whole battle here. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, yeah, just again, guys, uh, I, I want you to know I really do appreciate suggestions. You're going to see me getting my butt kicked a whole lot more, uh, but please don't let it get to you. It's fine. Um, this stuff doesn't bother me. I, I am fine with taking the, the hard path. It's it's okay by me. Um, I and As long as I'm learning is the thing, and I'm learning constructively, not in a way that's like, you know, and you have to do this, or you have to do that kind of thing. I'm not going to respond well to that. I'll be honest. I'm just going to be like, yo, um, you know, <laughs> please let me just try to, you know, do my thing. But um, yeah, we're getting better at least. But now that I've probably paused for so long, 
um, I've probably just lost any accrued skill that I had. So GG me. Um, but we get to look at Ryu making poopies. You know, maybe that's the secret right there. Poop on the ground and then Vega walks in it and he slips. Andy, you have to play They Are Billions. I, I would like to play it, but it's just I don't want to spend that kind of money on that game. It's a little too expensive right now um, for a game that's a little on the early side. Um, but it, what the heck? <laughs> Shangles, thank you, man. In all seriousness, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're being very generous to me, and I don't know why, but thank you. Make him poop bits? Well, he just... He, I, I think he might. It matches his color, actually, yes. Dark Enigma, welcome back. Mikey Mays, hello, welcome to you. Um, but yeah, as for the They Are Billions, uh, maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll invest in it. Um, it just... I was actually talking about it earlier in the stream. You guys should check that game out. It's called They Are Billions. If you like games where they're like defensive kind of games where you make a defensive structure and then um, just kind of... It looks like you can build and stuff and create your own bases and then defend against like tons of attackers. But it's it's like a zombie kind of game. It's it's cool and like it has a really good sales pitch. S excuse me, on Steam. Um, so yeah, you might want to check it out. I just look... Hey, look at the guy... On the left side, standing up, and he's he's in the green shirt, and he's got um, like brown, kind of overall looking thing on him, or whatever. Um, look at his knee area. I think he got cut, and he's bleeding out of his knee. But he's so excited to watch this fight that he doesn't even care. He's like, "Screw it, man. This is this is my 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 homie Vega is fighting. I'm gonna support him with a bleeding knee or not." <laughs> he doesn't even care. <laughs> Effing controller, hello and welcome to you. Baz TV, welcome to the stream as well. All right, we're done pooping now. Ryu has evacuated his bowels accordingly. I'm sorry, that's dirty, but he has. He's feeling good. All right, let's watch Andy get his butt kicked horribly now. Okay, I. That's like eight thousand Hadoukens I just tried to do, and I didn't get a single one. Oh, nice hit! Nice hit! Now don't get excited! Don't- Oh no! No, 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 no! Ah! Uh. Alright, I punched him in the butt. That's nice. Right in the butt. Copped a little Vega feel, if you will. A little- a little Vega feel. Yes. Alright, good luck us. Here we go, round two. I oh Look at that right through my fireball Yeah Oh what was that I was blocking and everything and he just oh crap That's so cheap no no Oh look at that double hit now I'm dazed What a jerk <laughs> I can't believe that. It's like he makes you f have this false sense of like, hey, I'm kind of doing good here, and then just no. Just over. It's quite rude, and I don't appreciate it. Oh, come on now. Come on. That's not right. Uh oh, uh oh! No, I'm gonna die! No, that was a bad move. That, yeah, I should have waited. At least did better. I think that was actually my best attempt on him. You can't block a grab. Well, dang, this is very rude. <laughs> I don't need that. I don't need that at all. Alright. Here we go. Come on. Be nice, Mr. Vega. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Oh! Ah! It only worked that one time. 
Oh, crud. What? Did you see how quick he is? I was doing- I was like right in my little trippy move and he just was like, no. Not doing it. Not doing it. Shangles, what the heck, man? Thank you again? Did you- <laughs> Thank you again, Shangles. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh. Yeah, Hadoukens, man! Freaking Hadouken! Oh, is he stunned? I think he's stunned! Yes! 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 <laughs> you cheap, cheap punk! You are done! Screw you, Vega! Yes! <laughs> oh, man! Yes! Alright! Yay! Yippee skippy! We did it! We did it! I am happy with that! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Unfortunately, that means now we have to fight Saget. <laughs> that was a short-lived victory. Look at that! Look at the scars! This man has been through the wars! Look at that! Like, right across his chest. He's missing an eyeball. He's got a bunch of things probably covering up more wounds. This man has seen violence. This man grew up in a ditch, I'm pretty sure. How am I supposed to beat him? And look, he's like nine feet tall. And he's got a big statue lady back there that he probably just hangs around all day. Thinking about, who am I going to fight next? I'm such an angry man inside. Who am I going to fight next? What idiot is going to come along and challenge me? And then he sees me show up and he's like, you're going down, little man. You're going down. <laughs> Thank you again, Shangles. I really appreciate all the bits. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you, man. Calton Born. Hello and welcome to the stream. Feel free to chat or lurk. Yo, uh, before I, uh, I forget, there's a lot of people in here right now. Um... And I just, I'm in a good mood, and I hope you all t are too. I hope, uh, you're enjoying yourselves. Shangles, what the heck, man? <laughs> Dude, how many freaking bits do you have? Oh my goodness. Thank you again, man. Thank you, really. But, uh, I just, uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying yourselves, and, uh, hope that, uh, everybody's doing great, and you all have, uh, happy holidays, all that good stuff, and enjoying your weekend. To be fair, Andy, Ryu is the one who gave him the big scar? I did not know that. When did that happen? How did that happen? This is probably the hardest boss. Yeah, Saget's pretty tough. Saget is very tough. I remember as a kid, like, this guy was like, dang, this guy is, he's a boss. He is a boss. And you see, you, I like how you say boss, too. Because, like, I know in the other Street Fighters, like, Mumiao had mentioned about, like, you know, they... They aren't the same, and they're not so cheap. But yeah, these are bosses that we're fighting at this point. I mean, this is like... Like, for those of you that weren't here, I got through the first eight uh, battles. I, I, I didn't... Actually, the first nine, I guess. I didn't lose a single fight until I got to Vega. And then it was like, okay, boss time. And I knew it, too. I was like, Vega's gonna kick my butt. He always did as a kid. And yeah, he's, he's mean. He's very mean. He doesn't care about your feelings at all. He really doesn't. <laughs> doesn't care about my feelings what the he just beat me up and stab me in the face with a wolverine claw it's very rude i don't appreciate it it's like tekken lore it just makes zero sense and stuff just happens well i'm okay with that yeah i'm okay with that at the end of the first street fighter tournament ryu practically shurukened him in half wow that's a serious shuriken dang I just realized when you say Shuruken, you're saying Ken in it. Does that mean something? Shuruken? Shuruken? Is that like Half-Life 3? Did we just confirm something? I never knew that. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Shuruken! Look at that! Oh my gosh! If you think of- Okay, who is Sho? Who is Sho? Maybe Sho is a hidden character? Maybe it's it's like uh 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 what the reptile from Mortal Kombat? You guys remember Reptile? He was the hidden character. You had to do something with like Noob Sabot and the Toasty and all that crap, and then and then he showed up and you're like, what is this green scorpion looking dude? I think we just figured out. I think we just confirmed a secret character after twenty-five years of existence or 20s i don't know how long this game has been out like 91 or something like that 
We just found out there's a hidden character in this game named Sho. I'm pretty sure. That's insane. Ken means fist or punch. Ooh, didn't know that. We're learning some good stuff. Rising Dragon Punch? Oh. Shoto equals fighting style. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see. Hmm. That's why, you know? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. All right. Um, time to get my butt kicked. Oh, man. Look at that. He, he doesn't even have, like, he just wears a pair of shorts. Doesn't even care. I, I guess if, since Ryu is the one that did that to him, that's why he's got such an angry look on his face. How did he lose his eyeball? Is it? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I can't... Hmm. I feel like he's being really nice right now. There he goes. The fiber uppercut. Fiber, fiber. There he goes. Now he's getting me. Ow. Again? Okay. Oh, man. I outfibered his fiber. Did you see that? I actually outfibered him. Oh, man. Okay. Round two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the fiber. Oh, this is... This is a thing. Okay. Oh my god! Oh no, I didn't mean to do that! How did I do the sprite drinking mucus move? I didn't... Oh man. I don't know how I did that. Oh. What a jerk. Oh, I can't kick him out of the... Oh. Okay, now I'm done. Oh, you cannot kick him at all out of the air with that move. Like, man, it just ain't happening. Alright, at least we got, like, that was a really, I will take that. That was a really good first fight against him. I'm very happy with how that went. Very happy. So, so I, I gotta ask now, does anybody know his, to counter his, his, his jump? Since Fierce Kick doesn't do it. Maybe, maybe the uppercut. I gotta stop doing that, it's just... Come here. Oh, he barfed! <laughs> yeah. Hey, that kind of works. Oh, yeah, I, I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, uh, he got me twice. Man. Bison ate Saget's eye as punishment for getting scarred? I kind of believe that. Kind of. But I question it at the same time. Dude. Man, I thought I had enough time to pull that off, but no! He just so mean. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Alright, that one wasn't so hot. Yo, Phenomical, welcome back. I just got a lot of fiber in my diet. It was, it was very rude of him. No, I, I know how to do the the sp the sprite drinking mucus move. I just don't know how I did it there. Yeah. This is really entertaining. I'm not enjoying your pain at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's, that's great. So so glad that you can find happiness in in my pain. Hadouken! 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 A freaking Dukin! Hadou oh, oh, look at that! He gave up! 
Fiber. Fiber. All right. Hadouken. Hadouken. This, this is an epic battle right here. Is Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna win the epic Hadouki? Uh oh, that was okay. You're getting slow in your old age, there, Mr. Saget. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. Shuriken. The high punch, or just a regular high punch? Oh, I'll try that. We'll see. If I can remember to do it at the right time. What is he doing? I feel like he's playing with me. He's like, I'm gonna let him think he's winning, and then I'm gonna kick his butt. He's doing it. He's faking me out right now. Oh! He's scaring me. I don't like I don't like this. I'm I'm freaking out a little bit. Oh, I got him! I got him! <laughs> I thought he was playing mind games. I was like, I was a little, I was panicking a little because I was like, dude, he's he's gonna whip out the justice any moment. He's gonna do it, and I'm just gonna be like sad. He's like, no, but he did. He was he was just I guess he must have got a phone call from his ex-wife, and she was like, I'll take you back, baby. You're still ugly, but I'll take you back. And he's like, okay, I'm happy about that. You, Ryu, I'll catch you later. We gotta wrap this up. I gotta go. Wow, that's great, man. All right, this is gonna be sad time probably. Um, this guy's tough for me anyway. I remember as a kid, this guy kicked my butt for sure. Um, so I'll do my best, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> At least that went quicker than uh, Vega. That was nice. Down high punch, down high punch, left uppercut, punch three. Kick through. <laughs> Side kick, uppercut, down jab. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of cheap, a lot of cheap, indeed. Whip out the justice. That's right. He he he. Uh, I thought he was going to, but he instead he got a phone call. I'm pretty sure. I think that's what happened there. All right, uh, Mr. Bison. That's what his name stands for. A lot of people ask, what's the M stand for? It stands for Mister. That's all. They just they just shortened it. You know, they're like Mister. Mr. Bison, you know, some people speculated, was it master? Was it mayor? No, it's not. It's not. It's just Mr. That's right. That's not true. I don't actually know what the M stands for. I really don't. <laughs> Manly? <laughs> I like that. That's what it stands for. Official ruling dictates... Manly Bison, yes. And he is man. Look at that! He just kicked me in the face when I had do- He is not scared at- Oh, look at this. I'm dead. I'm already dead. It just- I told you it was gonna be bad. At least I didn't break a statue. Because those are priceless artifacts. They're worth like 30,000 billion dollars each. Will you go away? Leave me alone. Had a hard day. Oh, you broke the statue! Oh, you are in so much trouble! What was that move? Did you see that? He's like, oh, look at me go! I didn't actually mean to do a Shuriken there, but that actually worked out quite nicely, so yeah. Oh no! Man! You know, I always thought... Okay, I, I'll have to point it out because he's blocking it right now. But if you look... Watch. Here, we'll just... Okay. Alright, Ryu, just pick it back up. Pick it back up. You can do this. I believe in you, Ryu. Look at him. He's like, I'm back, baby. I have the tiger. <laughs> he's been training. He hit the gym. Okay, see... If... Okay, I'm getting kicked to the face because I wanted to walk forward to show you the, the thing behind Ryu, so I am literally taking a kick to the face from M. Bison himself, just so you guys can see, okay? That's how much I care. Um, maybe if I hold back, just as I unpause it, maybe I'll get lucky. Anyway, look at the little person sitting down, and he's like, whoa! 
You know, he's 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 doing the 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 focus there. He's got the he's oh man, I'm gonna he's 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 praying for Bison, I think, actually. Shame on you for praying for the bad guy. He's bad. Um he's like, I just want the manliness too. Anyway, um if you watch at the end of the match, sometimes he or she stands up. And it looks like they grew out of the pot, like a flower or something. And I always thought it was kind of funny. I was like, it looks like they just popped out of the pot. And they're, they're just growing out of it or something. Yeah. Mike Bison? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. What does Google say? Oh, though the M originally stood for Mike, in Japan, Capcom never explained it. Uh, calling it... Oh interesting master bison no i don't like that that's no good that's that's not yeah no master doesn't work okay i did not know that yeah huh interesting yeah i, I never knew that that makes sense though because in uh, a lot of other capcom games they use uh, in case you guys don't know they actually use a lot of u.s celebrity names in other capcom games final fight is very classic for that they have um axel from guns and roses they have um who's that other one there's oh man i can't remember them it's been so long but there's there's quite a few trust me trust me trust me Woo um if you just go look it up ask uncle wikipedia and he'll tell you um they just they named a bunch of characters in Final Fight after um, like musicians and stuff, and a bunch of Capcom games as well have have that naming format, um, which is kind of cool. Um, what other game is there's there's another game like that? I think Mega Man in one of the Mega Mans. There's like a bunch of uh, stuff like that. Guile character design was the janitor's broom playing with a boomerang. Uh. I'm going to need a visual aid for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the janitor's broom playing with a boomerang. Nah, man. I, 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 I'm not seeing it, man. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> All right. Time to get my butt kicked again. Oh, I blocked it. Yay. Oh, well, not that, though. Oh, my gosh. So mean. Okay, I can't kick him with the high kick. Or, okay. I don't even know if I can anti-air this guy except for maybe a shuriken. Maybe, but like I said, I am not reliable at my shurikens. But I can try. I can try. Okay, hey, I kind of... Oh, hey! Hey, this is kind of a thing. Okay. Yeah! Look, see, she she came out of the pot. She's like, look, I grew right out of the pot. And now she's like freaking out. She's like, bah, 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 bah. I don't know what else to think of that. She just looks like she grew right out of the pot, like a little flower. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Did I? Oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't. I should have thrown a Hadouken, honestly. I, I thought maybe I had him stunned. Oh wow. Oh, how did he get me? Oh no, oh no. Dude, the spam! Oh! I, I'm happy with that though, that was, that was actually a really solid fight. Oh, he got me though, darn, I thought that was only round, uh, two. Darn. That's still, I'll, I'll take that though. I'm learning. I'm happy about that. Scissor kicks don't chip in this game? Don't chip. What do you mean by that, Mumia? Okay. Oh. Man! Will you leave me alone? Oh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh, double dazed? Oh, at least I hit him. Man, 
It's all worth it for the lady in the pot. Right there. She's so happy. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. He is so wiry. Can you stop that so I can do something? Ow! Wow. Ouch. He's like, you're out of here. You are so out of here. He looks cool, I feel like, though. I feel like he's a cool looking boss. Well, maybe not up close. Now he just looks like a jerk. But but further away, his uniform and everything. He looks he looks like a tough dude. Chip means to do damage even on block. Oh okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. See I don't I don't Okay, I hang on. I can't fight and talk very well. Yeah! Yeah! Wow! Yes! Yes! I just need another one of those. That's all I need. Um... You should do another playthrough playing Akuma? Th no, this isn't- this is- this is the original. oh, in Champion. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, yeah, this is the original, dude. I, uh, wow, that's a lot of points, man. Dang. Holy cow. Time and vital, really. Jeez. Cool! Oh! He's upset. I think we hurt his feelings. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do so hot now. Uh oh. I can't believe this stupid little Ryu guy beat me! Oh! He's down! Bison is down! Taking the nappy nappy poo! He's done! GG! Alright! Yes! I feel good about that. I feel good about that. And we got an ending. You don't get this, by the way, if you play this on easy mode or anything before the mode that I did. Cool. All right. Where is the champion? He's off being mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. That's game. Look at it. Already seeking the next challenge. Didn't even stick around for the ceremony. He's like, I'm better than all of you. The fight is everything. <laughs> this man needs to get a job. <laughs> he's going... He went out to punch fountains. He's, he's punching a waterfall. That's... That's... That's this man's life. He's like, well... <laughs> I obviously can't beat any other human being on the planet, so I'm gonna try to make a waterfall go up. <laughs> He's trying to make a waterfall go up. That is his new challenge. He's like, I'm just gonna shuriken in this waterfall until it goes in reverse. You don't understand. It can be done. <laughs> Everybody doubted him. They're like, no, you cannot make a waterfall go backwards. But he's like, trust me, I'm gonna make it happen. And if you look very carefully, look, huh? Peebs is following. Peebs, hello, welcome to the stream, first of all, and thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Peebs is hosting me, too. Thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Well, welcome to you and to your uh, your viewers. Feel free to chat or lurk. Um, but if you look, look, take, take a look at the waterfall, like, on the side there. He already, I think he's already mastered the art of, oh, oh look, I didn't even press anything. He's mastered the art of freezing the water on the side there. So he's just doing it a little bit at a time. So he's chipping in his own way, if you will. That's pretty deep if you think about it. It's pretty deep. It's beautiful is what it is. It's beautiful. That's right. <laughs> uh, where did I leave off in chat? Hang on, let me catch up here. Uh, head stomp doesn't chip either. You can actually just defend until time runs out to beat this boss if you have life lead. Really? Really? I did not know that. I, uh, I, I like how we got him, though. Thank you, Grape Juice, for the happy little Pikachu. I appreciate that. Yeah, we got it. Totally. It, so, yeah, if you... Uh, what I was going to say before, before we saw Ryu walk off into the sunset majestically, it was... It was it's actually quite touching. 
getting a little choked up thinking about it actually I just, okay we gotta get past it um but uh yeah if you beat this game uh on any difficulty below the default you don't get an ending uh i think it just says something like try on a harder difficulty if i remember correctly um so i'm happy about that i'm happy we did it we we, we got uh we, we got satisfaction ladies and gentlemen feeling good you know feeling good enjoying the moment if you will yes andy's on a roll completing games ah we're, we're, we're doing all right yeah a little bit at a time here and there while the attention span holds <laughs> um no he ryu does not give any craps about the trophies he only cares about punching waterfalls because really isn't that what we all want in our lives is to just punch a waterfall so hard that it goes backwards I mean, really, if you could punch a waterfall so hard that it goes backwards, I think, well, I, I'm pretty sure that you'd be the most manly man in the history of men to be manly ever. Yeah. Brian, J83, hello, welcome to the stream. Feel free to chat or lurk. Buffalax, welcome to you as well. Hello. Welcome. Can't imagine those two bosses standing on a podium. Uh, they Don't they, like, hate each other? Don't Saget and, and Bison, aren't they kind of enemies or something, I thought? Or am I wrong? If I did this in my shower 100 times a day, will I become the best fighter ever? Uh, you can't shuriken a shower, I think. I think it goes against the law of physics. I think you have to shuriken a waterfall. And I know that might seem like the same thing at first, but a shower is man-made waterfall goodness. He is punching nature-made goodness. He's going with the flow of the spectrum of life, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. He is focusing his chi, his energy, if you will, to hone in on the forces of nature themselves to convince nature that I do believe you should go in reverse because that is the better place for you to be. And nature responds in kind with saying yes, I will make the reverse, and it does so very, very majestically, very beautifully. But if you punch a shower, if you try to shuriken in your shower to try to reverse it, no, all you get is is sad feelings. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it's a good idea, idea Mumiao. It is. But it, 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 no, it unfortunately doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's, that's the curse of man on man's self. It's like this, this, this this crazy uh you know kind of parallax if you will perhaps maybe yes yes lady kaiserin i think you've been here before lady so welcome back if i'm wrong well then hello and welcome to you feel free to chat or lurk saga is in the same organization with balrog vega and bison oh what is that organization called cheap jerky bosses yeah the CJBs, if you will. I think that's what it is. If I press start, does it go back to the... Oh, look at that. SF2? Oh, I didn't get to put my... Because it, it went. Look at our score, though. We did good. We did pretty good, you guys. Now, I... Before we... Before I do my, my little thing that I do here, um... Uh, I, I, I think... I, I would like to do a couple matches real quick with Guile, because... I just think Guile is awesome. I don't... I don't really care for him in terms of like actually if I was to try to like make real progress with this game and stuff. I just like his moves and his appearance and stuff. He's he's just real flashy, you know, he's got the well, he's got the flash kick. I mean come on, it's awesome. So we gotta do a little a little uh guile action here real quick. Just a little. And then we'll do our, our finishing of this game. Our we'll make it official then. So if, if we can just get a flash kick on Chung Li, yeah, we just sit down here. She does. Oh, 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 look at that. She knew it was coming. We gotta, we gotta, maybe we gotta throw a sonic boom to try, just try to fake her out a little. Come on. Be good. Yeah, there you go. See that? It feels good. Oh, ow. Hey, cut that out. <laughs> ow, she's kicking my butt. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there we go. We got another one. Did we did it? Oh, ow. I remember as a kid when I played this. She beat me. I just got beat by the first. You know, that actually happened when I did Ryu. It was like I, we lost to 
to dude Blanca. All right, we gotta we gotta avenge ourselves because nobody else is gonna do it for us. That's that's this isn't how you do it. Okay. Are you st you stupid! Hold still, you wiry little, wiry wiry little lady. She's quick. Man, she's 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 kicking my butt. <laughs> See? <laughs> You're bouncing around. Hold still. Uh oh. Okay, that that was bad. Yeah, we got a flash kick. Oh oh. Can we do it again? Yeah, nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Yes. Three seconds left, too. That was close. Yo, purple sister, welcome back. How you doing? What's happening? Nelk, welcome back as well. How are you? Lee Hurst, hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, if I could just beat Chung Lee, that would be good. Maybe. Yeah, oh, okay. I was actually trying to do a flash kick. <laughs> but it worked out anyway. Jump at me, jump at me, come on, no, over here. No, no, you're doing it all wrong. Over, no, she's not cooperating. I need you to cooperate. We need more flash kicks. There we go. Ooh. Just hold still, man. Yeah. It feels so good to get a flash kick to work. Because it's, it's, it's pretty obvious when you're doing a flash kick. I mean, anytime you see somebody in the arcade, or at least when I saw somebody in the arcade as a kid, playing Guile, you know that they're going to crouch down. And as soon as they're crouching down, you're like, okay, what are you going to do next? I wonder. <laughs> it was always a flash kick. Every time. Um. Hang on. I gotta read this. I gotta start small though, so I'll start by pointing at tap water to make it go in reverse and move my way slowly up to waterfalls. Oh, oh you're working out a- I see what you're doing, Moomiao. You're working out a plan. You're making a plan so that way you can just, you know, you can a little bit at a time and chip away. Okay. I think that's actually a good idea, Moomiao. Yeah. I, c I can agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Good, good call on it. Let me know how that works out for you. Yeah. Do you have a favorite character? Um, Appearance-wise, I think Guile's the coolest looking. He just looks like one tough dude. And I mean, look at that hair. Look at that crazy... What is that? It's... I don't know what it is. You could probably eat dinner off that thing. You could probably just be like, Guile, hold still. You put your little dinner on there. And you, you know, it's... I think it could work. I do. Jeff Jack, hello and welcome to you. He could probably even keep stuff up there. I mean, if he's sitting there in a place where he doesn't have a good table or desk, and it's it's some kind of thing that he wants to keep level, he just put it on top of his head, and he goes back to work. But he looks pretty tough. Uh, so appearance-wise, probably Guile. Uh, Play-wise, uh, Ken or Ryu, for sure. Definitely Ken or Ryu. They're both pretty awesome. Uh, OGJ316, hello and welcome to you. As I am new to the stream, how do you choose your next target in the challenge? Uh, my ADD kind of just kicks in, and I'm like, what do I want to do with my life right now? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's really pretty much it. I just kind of go where, where it takes me. Or at least what games that I have, because um, I, I have a lot, but I don't have them all. Um, so, yeah, whatever's available to play. Are you streaming to two different platforms right now? If you're asking me that, uh, no. No, just on Twitch. Just on Twitch. You missed a quote? I missed a quote? What quote? Uh, I didn't see any quote. I must have missed it, yeah. If I, I guess I should point out, yeah. I try to read chat, but if I miss messages, I apologize. Uh, I tried to do my best to read it, but I do miss things. And I jump around at times, too. Yeah. Yeah, Techno's right. On a whim. And yes, yeah, sometimes we have voted, but um, yeah, other times, exactly. I'll just grab it off the shelf because I'm like, woo, <laughs> let's play this game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah I, yeah, I don't want 100 sports games at the end. I don't. That would be sad face for me because 
No offense to sports games, by the way. No offense at all. Like, I just don't care for them, mostly. Uh, I have actually found a few. Now, I'm not a sports guy. That's the thing. I, I don't play sports. I don't know sports. Like, I'm a nerd. Like, I'm, I'm full on, like, I'm, I'm not going to hide it. I know very little about sports. Um, and so I don't get much entertainment value out of sports games unless they're crazy sports games, like super high impact. That game is nuts. And if you guys like have never played it, I would, I actually would recommend it. Like I give that game a 10 out of 10. It is crazy. Oh, Buffalax. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Finestral, Finestral family. Glad to have you. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you for the follow. I definitely take that as a compliment. But, um, yeah, I would recommend Super High Impact. That game is, like, football on craziness. It is outrageous and over the top, and I just, I had a blast playing that game. But if you're looking for, like, a legitimate football experience, then then you don't want to play that. <laughs> go home and be a family man to Chung Lee. Did he really just say go home and be a family man to Chung Lee? <laughs> I know he says that, but I didn't even realize that he said it to Chung Lee. That's epic. Yo, Vellum, what's up? Welcome back. How you been? Yo, happy holidays to all of you, by the way. I hope you all are doing great. Hope you all are enjoying yourselves, having a good day, feeling good. Oh, he punched me in the face. Wait, did... I just realized I never actually paid attention to, to, to Blanca Blanca's face. Watch, I'm going to do another flash kick, and I'm going to do my very best to not screw it up. I'm going to try to pause when he makes this crazy googly eye face. It's pretty epic. Hang on, let's see if I can do it. Ah, oh, This uh, this is going to take... No. Well, look at Guile, he's, he's revving up for it. Nah, I'm going to pay for that. I'm probably going to lose trying to do this, but... Uh. Oh, that time it... Oh, I thought it made you... Okay. It's not going to work now because I want it to happen. Come over here. Come here. All right, quit farting around. Oh, oh. oh he's being so rude now. Oh, he did it. Oh, I didn't know he was going to do it in the air, too. Okay. Look, there, I got it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I guess I would look like that too if I just got kicked in the freaking face by Guile. He's like, Bleh! <laughs> that's so good. I can't believe I actually paused it on the right moment too. That's pretty good. It is a good frame. That is. I'm so glad we got it. New emo. Yo, that's a good idea. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write that down. Vellum. That is beautiful. I will write that down. And then, uh, yeah. Wow. Hang on. The Blanca face. <laughs> oh, man. The, that would be such a good face. Like, that would make such a good emo. Oh, man. Uh, Loranis13. Hello. Welcome to you, Loranis. Feel free to chat or lurk. I have definitely dated guys not n not as manly as her, and it's definitely a tempting idea to have her try and crush me between those ties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I... Yes. Well, I, I've only ever had uh, an emote for the, the basic subscription. So I've been thinking, like, I need something for the higher tiers, especially because people have now subscribed to both tier two and three and there's literally nothing there so maybe we can give everybody that i don't know what we'll call it yet well, paranoid blanca mm, that's a lot to type out though you know i don't know somehow i knew you'd like you you are right you are right you're absolutely right oh i was trying to do another flash kick i didn't get it all right um you know what i i feel like before we 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 call it two with guile I gotta give a little tribute to Ken as well. Uh, I really do. So, we're gonna see if we can beat... Do I wanna... Do I care enough? No, I, I, we're gonna just let him beat me real quick. Because I just wanna select Ken real quick, and then we'll get to our... Uh, our finishing... Uh, segment here with this. 
Look at that kick! <laughs> it's kind of a interesting little swish kick there. S okay, Hidden Sword? Hello, uh, well actually, Hidden Sword, you've been here before, so welcome back. I'm pretty sure you have. Um, so welcome back, but Slurgis? Sil I I'm so sorry, I'm trying to say your name just to welcome you to the stream, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I believe it's Slurgis, so welcome. Sorry for calling you out, not trying to be rude, I just was trying to welcome you. Alright, we gotta give Ken a little love. Can you change the color? Oh, see, this is the original Street Fighter. I don't think you can change their color. Or at least not without maybe a cheat code or something. Yeah. Yo, Surges, welcome back. How's it going for you? Oh, we're fighting our our our, our brother guy now. I, I, he threw me. That was so rude. What game is next? I don't know. I don't actually know. That's a good question. We're gonna hit this guy with this the sprite drinking mucus in a second. Ah. Well, he said it. Oh, he's... He's being quite rude to me. Uh-oh. We gotta out-hadouken him? Maybe? Oh, he tripped! He tripped and he fell down! Bang! That was close. Fluffy Toy Koi, hello, welcome to you. Welcome, welcome. Primal Rage? Uh, you know, I actually have Primal Rage. I think I do. Pretty sure I do. Oh, look at that! My Hadouken snuck past his. Oh, he knew it was coming. He's like, Ken, I trained you, remember? Oh, 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 get, get, get! Yeah! Look at that in the swish, swish, slow motion into the thingy! Wow. That was a pretty epic little, little finisher there, yeah. That was good. ST? Soon? Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay, I get it. I think Street Fighter 2 Rainbow Edition is totally worth it. Uh, why is that? What's, what's so good about it? Shangles? Thank you very much again. Dude, you are so generous to me. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. What what is I don't know what the rainbow I don't know what that is. What do you What is this we speak of? I need I need more information. Wow, he just got wrecked. Poor guy. He is he's going to be hurting tonight, I think. I think he's going back to his family, hanging his head low and sad. I I have picked to play as E Honda many times as a kid purely so that I could do the million punch move and nothing else and then I did it and I would beat like one one opponent and then I would be done playing as him because I was like that's all I wanted I just had to get it out of my system you know I just had to do it and and then I felt better and it was it was beautiful it really was sweet meat hello welcome to the stream Philo Entertainment, welcome to the stream as well. Zoki, yo Zoki, welcome back. How's it going for you? Rainbow Edition is a completely wonked hacked version of this game that allows you to do any specials in air and it's full of crazy and hilarity. Is it How do you is it on SNES emulator or how do you, how do you play this Rainbow Edition that you speak of? I've never heard of that before, by the way. Like that Honda 100 Palms, he can do that in the air? Really? No, I've never heard of that. Huh. Yeah, how, how do you play it? Or, I mean, like, what's, what's it on? <laughs> That's how I, everyone played as E Honda as a kid? I just, yeah, I, I don't know. He's, I, I do not actually enjoy playing as E Honda. Like, seriously, I just want to do the million punches because it's just, I mean, it looks so cool. It's a barrage of fists. It's like, man, look out for this, like, incoming train of punches. Slasher Agent? Hello, and welcome to the stream. Hello, Andy. Hello, Heart. I love you too, Zoki. I love you too. It's nice to see you. I hope you feel great. 
I do feel pretty great. Thank you. I hope you feel great too, Zoki. Are you feeling great? It's on Fightcade. Oh, Fightcade. Well, isn't that then like an emulated thing? Like, can, can you play it on like SNES 9X or something like that? Uh, Philo, you're very welcome for the welcome. ROM exists, but I think there's cartridges too if you ever want to buy it. Really? Huh. I don't know if I'd want to buy it. I'd have to play it first just to see how I feel about it. Going smooth? Ooh, smooth. I like it. Ooh, smooth. Not not good. Not great, but, but smooth. Yeah. Smooth. Ladies and gentlemen, Zoki is, is going smooth. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yes. You can buy the Arton of Groms and Cartridges. Oh, you have to. You, you do have to purchase it, though? It's not like a free... Usually, like, ROM hacks are free. Huh. I like this guy with the stretchy limbs. I think he's cool looking with his moves and stuff, but I never enjoyed playing as him too much. I always found myself just kind of being like, ah, oh, he was fun to goof off with for a moment, and then being like, all right, get me back on Ken or Ryu or something like that. Slasher Agent, hi back at you. How's it going? SNES 9X works. Um, If somebody wants to i mean well if you have it i mean you guys have it if somebody wants to throw it uh to me on discord real quick i'll fire it up and i'll try it i'll stream that i'll definitely try it i'll try it right now i'll do it i'll freaking do it i just need it that's all ow oh, he's kicking my butt what is this nonsense right now get out of here with that yeah oh oh he's gonna get us oh 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 man Oh, uh, let's... Uh, oh, I was gonna try to throw him. Didn't work out so good. Personally, I prefer hacks that capture the original flavor of the game and improve upon it, while still maintaining a good difficulty curve. Oh. Okay, well, fair enough. Fair enough. It's understandable. I, I'm pretty much... As long as it's fun, I don't care. I'm, I'm okay with whatever. Just gotta be fun to play. Well, he's, he's, he's picking up on my shenanigans now. He doesn't like what I'm doing. And just about enough of this guy and his stupid fireballs! Oh! Oh! We're gonna give him a fast one. Bam! I don't think he like that. Uh, you can find it for me? Yeah, if, if you- here. If you want to send it to me while we do our, our little review thing. We'll do that. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So... All right. First things first. Um, I have to. Uh, I have to point out. Um, this is not my original copy of this game. Um, it is definitely not. And the reason why I say that is because this thing is in horrendous, horrendous condition. I don't know what happened to this game. I'll show it in a moment. But it's bad. Uh, I take good care of my games. Um, like I take very good care of my games. So I don't know what the heck happened to this thing, but it's the only copy I have of the original street fighter two. Um, my original copy that I got as a kid, uh, unfortunately was stolen from me. If I ever find you, I'll ask for it back. And then they'll be like, I sold it dude for drugs. <laughs> I'm like, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, yo Sanchez, welcome back. How you doing today? Uh, anyway, so yeah, this, you can see, is pretty bad like oh like how did this even happen and then okay like all right you know we've all seen the labels like this right i mean look at this you we've seen this before this isn't exactly uh this isn't exactly a new thing to see a game pretty torn up like this but look at this now how did that happen like look at that who did that like what person got... I bet somebody got so angry that they threw it across the room because they couldn't beat Vega. That's what... This is a Vega cartridge. That's what happened. Somebody got to Vega and was like, This cheap son of a gun is freaking a hack. And just made me so angry. And they just threw the game. They just threw it right across the room and, and they broke it. They totally broke it. Like, man, no love for this poor... And this is... It's Street Fighter 2. This is a classic... And it's just annihilated. I feel like bad for this game. But it's the only copy I have, like I said. So, yeah. 
Anyway, I got to get my picture real quick. Okay, we got to get the winning photo. La, 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 la. Woo. Yeah. Um, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Can we donate NES games? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to... Uh, I've actually had things get donated to me. Uh, actually, right here. This Super Famicom. It doesn't work, um, but... Uh, it's a good shell, and I will be using the shell of it. Uh, that was actually very generously donated by uh, McCravenator. So, McCravenator, if you see this, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's... I, I appreciate donations very much. Very much. You know that. Random question? Uh, feel free. Go ahead. Super Mario World is a good example of a game with a bunch of fun hacks. Oh, I've heard about that. Yeah, I've heard about that. Anyone on the iPhone 8? <laughs> I actually don't have a phone, a cell phone. I, uh, like, people always are like, you're joking, right? And I don't. Your room is awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I, yeah, I, I love it. I've, I've put a lot of effort into my, my, my little office area here to, to make it look very gaming and, and welcoming. So this is my, my Super Nintendo cabinet that's designed specifically just for Super Nintendo games. Paranoid Dad made it for me. Um, I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and I got some of my, my old game boxes in here that you can see. It's probably a little hard to see. I don't know how well it shows up on the stream, but you got Zelda, Final Fantasy 3, Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger. So I got some of the boxes up there because I just thought it would look nice. Um, and then actually over here, that's an original right there. That's a Super Nintendo uh, demo unit that you would see in the stores when it first came out. I love that thing. It is so awesome. And one day I'll turn it on and try to show you guys. I just can't do it right now because you need a better camera to show certain light sources. And unfortunately, this camera that I have here, it, it just makes it look awful when you turn the lights on and everything and it's all illuminated. It just It, it just it looks bad. It looks really bad. So I'm saving it for when I can hopefully get a better uh a better uh, camera to really show it off because it's worth it. It's it looks great, um, but yeah, I uh, I appreciate that. I'm really glad you like it because I worked really hard to put it all. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Yeah, a nice little little something there. Yeah, just realize that fighting games are too hard. Oh, I like fighting games. I, I I enjoy them. I'm not like into them like crazy, but I got a lot of fun out of them as a kid. Especially Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct is like that was my fighting game that I put a lot of time into. So I'm looking forward to when we play that. I am definitely looking forward to it. Show me my Dreamcast. Uh, your Dreamcast is actually in my storage room right now. Um, it's, it, yeah, I, I got it uh, put in storage. I, I don't actually have, like, I guess, yeah, I don't know how well you guys can see the consoles here, but, um, yeah, I, I keep all my consoles in a uh, protective... Um, shelf that i made um because i'm very picky about keeping all of my video games as clean as possible because well i just i like to take care of my stuff it's very important to me to take very good care of my belongings and uh, i want my video game consoles to last um so i keep everything as dust free as possible so um yeah i keep most of it in here but the super nintendo that you see sitting right here this one is sitting out because I have two Super Nintendos here. One is my really good one that's clean. And then this one is the one that I allow to have dirty games put into it. Because, um, well, since I'm playing on all real games, um, honestly, I don't want to clean individually every single one of these. So I clean the ones that I know I'm going to play again. Like all the sports games, I'm, I'm not going to play them again. Except maybe Super High Impact because that game is crazy fun. Um but otherwise, pretty much all the sports games, I never bother to thoroughly clean them. Like, I clean them on a basic, like, Q-tip alcohol level, but I don't actually take them apart and clean the inside and then really clean it, like, professionally. Um, so those games that are professionally cleaned, I play on this Super Nintendo, and the ones that I don't, I just play on this one, so I don't have to keep going back and forth. I was using a Game Genie for a little while on this one, because a Game Genie is just, like, it's a middle device, and I didn't mind getting that dirty, because I wasn't planning on using it. But I got tired of constantly explaining every time when I pulled it out and people would see a Game Genie. They'd be like, hey, Game Genie, you're cheating! Cheater, cheater, cheater! Oh, I see you're cheating! I'm like, no, I'm not actually cheating. There's no cheats that I entered. It's in the off position. And all this, you know, and I'd be like, I only do it because I don't want to put dirty games in my clean Super Nintendo. And I was just like, forget it! Forget it! I'll just put a Nintendo on my desk and we'll do it that way. 
So now I don't have to explain that anymore because I literally explained it every time and I'd be like, see, we're not using any cheats. I just don't want to get my, my Super Nintendo dirty. Uh, I think SNES had a different hacked version. Rainbow is arcade emulator only. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's fine. I can set that up another time then. If we donate a game to you, will you play it? Uh, that depends. That depends, big time. If it's a, a retro game that I have an interest in, like on Nintendo or Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis, something like that, I'll give it a play. I mean, it just depends. Like, I mean, if it's if it's something that I actually want to play, then I'll play the crap out of the game because I want to play it. Um, but if it's a game to troll me, if you're like, Andy, you know, play, well, well, I already played Barbie Supermodel, so I don't know, some other Barbie game or something like that that's on another system, I'll be like, okay, I get the joke, um, and I'll play it for a few moments, but, you know, yeah. Um, but there's, I, I have a bunch of games, like, on Steam, by the way, that I still haven't even played, because um, I'm a terrible person. Guido in a Speedo, <laughs> hello and welcome to you. Knee Room, welcome as well, and Down Low Rekka, welcome to the stream, all of you. Feel free to chat or lurk. Um... I remember seeing those at KB Toys. Yeah, yeah, they had uh, the Kia. I can't point. Yeah, there. They had these at uh, KB. They had them at uh, the electronic stores and stuff. A lot of those, you know, a lot of the little game stores. Yeah, I, I think it's awesome. I love it. I am so happy to have that. It's, it's authentic. That thing is, is, it's not like a knockoff or something. It is the real deal. And I'm just, I feel so fortunate to have it because they're, they're very rare. I had to work hard to get it. I really did, but it was worth it, I think. Happy to see things turned out good for you, Andy. Well, thank you, Sanchez. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Andy, what is your opinion on text-based adventure games or mysteries or text-based mystery games? Just wondering. Not much for them. I'm not much of a reading kind of person unless it's like information, like like video game manuals and, and manuals about building stuff and whatnot, but actual like fictional games where you just read and progress no i usually my add kicks in hard like i'm just like i just have trouble with it i really do yeah i'm not much for reading fictional stuff um i mean i've enjoyed a few fictional books i have like i, I read like one of the earliest books i read uh like that was a larger book i guess you could say was doom and i enjoyed it um but if I'm going to read, I want to play an RPG, honestly. I want to play something more interactive so that my ADD is not, like, just going bonkers. Street Fighter 2 was bundled with the Super NES I had as a kid. Oh, there's a, there's a, I didn't know there was a, a SNES bundle, Street Fighter 2 version. Yeah. Playing Rainbow Edition over in a laundromat when I was a kid. Really? Huh. Didn't know they would have had it like that. Cheating? Uh, grape juice. You shush, you shush. No cheating there. No cheating. You know. You know. Grape juice, you know better. That's right. Oh, they had a fake... Oh, interesting. Okay. Not too much, Guido. We just finished Street Fighter, so we're discussing that. Um, and now we're going to do the end of the review here. We're going to do a... This is what I do whenever I finish a game. I like to talk about it and just kind of give my thoughts on how I feel about the game. Uh, so, uh, let me get my little list here. So graphics, uh, this game has excellent graphics, absolutely excellent graphics. I really, man, this cartridge is just so nasty. I feel like gross holding it up. Like, I, like it, I just don't even want this in my collection in a way because it's just, it's like, how did somebody do this to this poor game? It's so sad. It's such a classic game and it's just annihilated. Ugh. Anyway... Um, the graphics in this game are excellent. I, I, I love it. I, I have no issue with the graphics. The sound is also excellent. Music is... I, I actually listen to Street Fighter 2 music off, you know, out, outside of the game. Because um, I like to listen to video game music, and that is definitely on the playlist. Controls, excellent controls. Challenge, challenge is pretty good too. I think it's a very fair challenge, except for maybe like, you know, some of the cheap stuff like Vega, as we discussed. He's pretty cheap, but... I don't know, I think it kind of gives the game a certain charm, too, because here we all are 20-something years later, and we can all relate and be like, yes, Vega is freaking cheap, that guy is a jerk, and I hate him! So, that's cool, you know, it gives it a little, uh, a little kind of connection there for all of us. 
Replay value? This game definitely has a very high replay value. Definitely. Um, I remember playing it a lot as a kid. Um, alone and with friends. Would I recommend this game? Yes, I would highly recommend this game. If you have somehow never played Street Fighter 2, uh, I recommend it. I definitely recommend that you play this game. It's very good. Um, what do I like? Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, hang on. How much do I value this game? Well, it's really cheap to acquire it, but I like to ask myself this question for a game that's cheap in value, like dollar value, but not in content value. So even though you can get this game for like, probably like 12 to $15 for just the cartridge, let's say it cost $60. I would be like, yes, worth it, worth it. This game is still worth $60 in my opinion to this day. It is, it's that good to me, in my opinion. Um, I'm glad it's not $60 still. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's actually quite cheap. So if you guys ever want to get a copy, you're, you're looking at like, yeah, 12 to 15 bucks. It's not bad at all. Um, now that's for the, the basic. I don't know how much, I think the, as they get later in release, they're a little more expensive. Um, but yes, I would easily say that this is worth the uh, original $60 that you had to pay for it, uh, when it came out. And I would say it's the content is still to this day worth it. Absolutely hate fighting against Vega. He's so mean. He's very cheap. Lightspeed Monk, hello and welcome to you. For 1991, it was almost take arcade in your living room graphic-wise. Yes, agreed, Zoki. Yes, completely. It really was. They did a fantastic job on that game. They really did. So here's the question. This, these are my two favorite questions because I, I like to ask this to chat and everybody. What do you like most about this game? And what do you like least about this game? So, what do I like most about Street Fighter 2? Hmm. Jeez, that's actually a tough question. You can't be cheap and just say all of it. You gotta find something. I feel like I, you know, just saying, oh, all of it, you know, but all of it is what I am inclined to say, but... Huh. I'm gonna say the graphics. All of the backgrounds that you see and how they're animated, they have life to them. I've seen a lot of beat-em-ups where there's no animations it just sits there static and it's very lifeless feeling this actually graphically feels very alive it feels very almost interactive like you can't mess with the background except for like boxes and that you hit and stuff but it feels like you could if you wanted to so graphically i'd say the graphics in this game are probably my favorite thing it's just so pleasing to look at and the thing that i like the least about it is hmm I suppose, now this is, when I say this, this is very loose, because I just said, I like how we, we can all kind of relate about Vega being so cheap, and I actually, if I, if somebody said, well, if you could go back in time and change Vega to be less cheap, I would actually say no, I'd say leave him alone, he's, he's known for being notorious, like, he is notorious as, you know, this cheap boss, but in terms of what I'd like the least about it, yeah, it's Vega, he's a cheap, jerky face, and he's very, very mean and he hurts my feelings so that's probably probably my least favorite thing that i can possibly find with street fighter 2 yeah mega drive thingy mega drive thingy i don't know what you're talking about the storyline <laughs> it's not exactly the most epic storyline